Hello and welcome to Sega News Bits. I'm Barry, with me is George. Affirmative. No funny business, this is serious. We're talking about Sonic Forces. No laughter, no nothing. This is a this is a hardcore game. So a trailer just released as we record this from Sega of Japan called, I believe it has the it has a very exciting title. Let me let me see here. Let me translate it. Ooh. Promotion video. What a what an exciting title they give it. I know. Um, so, <laughs> what is promotion video? Well, it's uh, from what we can see, it's a lot of new cutscenes from the game with the Japanese language. Now, the first thing you see, we'll just go through these real quick. You see a laboratory, and what do you think of these graphics? They look pretty. I mean, they're stylish graphics. They look fine. It looks a lot better than the last yeah. cutscene thing they put out. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, when you compare it to Sonic Lost World, and I'm not talking graphically, I'm just talking design-wise, there's a lot more here. I remember Sonic Lost World, his his lab was basically in, a, like, a black void, which was really weird. <laughs> like, it was clear that they were, you know, cutting costs and didn't want to show the rest of the place. But, yeah, so you see these tubes, and there's these little squares in them, these little cubes. And uh, Eggman's talking, and we see Orbot there. Um... Worth pointing out, the Japanese voice actor for Eggman, I believe he passed away last year or early this year. So this is a new voice. I don't know who it is, but um, that's, that's, that's a little piece of trivia for you. Uh, and then you see in a tank, um, Infinite, the new enemy there with the, I believe it's called the Phantom Ruby in his chest, which was seen in, spoiler alert, Sonic Mania. So... Any thoughts on these? Yeah, it's pretty interesting because, I mean, now we know that... Inf I, I, we didn't know if Infinite was, like, created and he came in and he talked to Eggman and they teamed up. Or if he was created in a lab. And I guess this kind of confirms that he was a lab creation by Eggman. Does it, though? Because... We don't know. What, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not really sure because there's this ruby. And so maybe Eggman allowed, gave him the power to manifest himself. But he still has something to do with Eggman. Like, Eggman's involved here. Right, of course, of course. And so, yeah, and so we see that. We see some stuff of Sonic getting kicked around, which we've seen before. And there's this really... Tails is like, Sonic! Well, he's like, he's playing like Angry Birds on his iPad. And then Sonic <laughs> dies, and he's like, oh, wait, stop! <laughs> it's like it, one of those anime scenes, you know, when you watch anime, and you're like, why didn't that other character like jump on the bad guy while they were talking like you know what i mean you know exactly. you know how anime they talk a lot and then they don't do anything characters yeah i feel like and you know i i just i feel like the sonic series and the recent games they haven't had a lot of cutscenes, and so i feel like they haven't had a lot of um practice in staging and in i mean i think the character animation is fine but just like the 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 framing and the staging just seems kind of weird sometimes on these. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, okay, so moving on, we see a lab and we see Amy on a computer. We see Charmy, Vector, Espio, Silver, and Knuckles. And it looks like when Sh Sonic's not around, Knuckles is kind of the leader of them, which is kind of cool. You, you pointed this out. So then we see Tails. He looks really scared. It looks like Infinite's maybe coming to attack him. What do you think of these guys behind Tails? Yeah, this is like the first time we've had like animal friends as, I guess, civilians because Sonic Team was always kind of in love with the fact that there was humans in the world. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this kind of confirms that there's going to be more of these like Sonic type animals and Eggman's the only human we've seen so far in Forces. So it might just be that Eggman is going to be the only human we see in Forces. We don't know. But. Yeah, and we, we really haven't seen humans in a long time. We haven't seen them since, I believe, 2008. But uh, but apparently, according to Azuka, who likes to pull a lot of answers um, out of his uh, pocket when people ask them, he, he said that there exists two worlds. There's the animal world and the human world, and Sonic moves between them, and I believe now they're kind of merged. So it, it's like the humans are there, we're just not seeing those people parts and i guess for the longest time the animals were there but we were just not seeing them because i mean someone like cream the rabbit was just an npc until she was called upon to be a playable character but it's weird yeah it almost reminds me of sonic boom really it does yeah 
some of these designs too. And then your favorite part, we get a uh, Terminator 2 style thing where Sonic blasts some robots and then he sees the Avatar character. And you can do the line. What does he say? Come with me if you want to live. Yeah. <laughs> so um, from there, you know, I'll, I'll skip ahead. We see a lot of gameplay footage we've seen before. You think that that scene is the first time we see Sonic come back? Supposedly he was missing? It could be. Uh, I mean, the guy does seem surprised to see him. Then again, they're inside something, and I thought they, the game started like outside with the um, tag team. Remember that bit? Like, yeah. Uh, so who knows if maybe they get separated, or maybe that's, maybe Sonic comes back, but then that's when they team up, and then the tag team stages start happening. Then we see the Avatar in Knuckles. It's like, yeah, come on, you can do it. And he slaps him on the back a little too hard. That's kind of funny. And then we get some more cutscenes. Eggman's doing his thing in Green Hill Zone. Infinite's being, I don't know, Vegeta or something. And then and there's like this new futuristic city. What do you think of that? It looks pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Is, you think it's going to be a playable level? I hope so. That would be nice. And it doesn't look like Sky Sanctuary, which was something we were speculating about when the um, the mobile game for Sonic Forces, uh, what is it, Battle Race or Race Battle, <laughs> something like that, was revealed. So I think that's a good sign. It's interesting, too. There's some scenes that look like they're in the first person's perspective. So I think the Avatar scenes are sometimes done first person in the cutscenes just to be like this is you they're talking to you and so i'm wondering if there's going to be any cheesy moments where sonic's like you're my best friend you know <laughs> and he gives you a little wink and you're like a little creeped out all right sonic relax yeah. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like that um that one game that fan made one where he's like you have to tickle sonic on the couch um and then finally uh, you know, we see some more gameplay footage, and there's there's a there's a bit here you brought up. So we see Metal Sonic, but he's surrounded by these cubes. What was it you were mentioning to me when you saw that? I said that I thought maybe it has something to do with Infinite's power. Maybe they're clones because we see a lot of tubes in the beginning of the you know in the beginning of uh, Doctor Eggman's lab, or maybe like Infinite can create anything he wants because uh, his powers do use cubes mm -hmm. we've seen it in prior than the yeah and you know maybe he's plucking them from time and he has complete control over them so who knows and then we see the giant uh, crab the giant enemy crab and what i thought was interesting was there's a scene towards the end of the trailer there was like a giant battle going on and you see rouge the bat and you see like dozens of little avatar characters did you see that yeah what do you think of that do you think that's like the end of the game i'm hoping it's it's not that'd be stupid if like they show you the end of the game they show you all the the big cut scenes here in this trailer and when we play we're like oh cool so that's what it's like when sonic comes back and that's what it's like in the end of the game I hope not. <laughs> I'm hoping we're not seeing the entire... I mean, I don't think we are, because that would only be three stages, but the game's just feeling very small right now, and I feel like they need to show us more stages. Oh yeah, for sure. I think that's one of the issues. And before we end this video, I just want to mention that we do want to do another Segabits Q&A video, so if you have any questions for us about, you know, Segabits, Sega, video games, our thoughts on upcoming games, if you want us to, you know, tell us what color our eyes are, you can just leave the comments down below, uh, questions in the comments, and we'll we'll answer them, maybe. So what do you guys think about the new Sonic Forces trailer? Are you guys excited for the game coming out this fall? And did you guys see anything that we missed in the trailer? Uh, do you guys like the Terminator 2 reference for Sonic? And uh, let us know in the comments below. 